men were off to Europe. This hour, you're gonna see Def Leppard, House of Lords, and Motorhead. Plus, all the details on how you can escape the long cold winter with us. So enough talking and let's rock. Here's Shake Me. Yow! No, no. It's gotta be Placido de Mango. No way. Oh, that is Pavaretti. I beg to differ. Steven Tyler. Get out of here. <laughs> no. The greatest vocalist, indeed the greatest quasi-religious figure of the 20th century, can only be... Dino. That's right, Tom. If a long, cold winter sees Cinderella in concert, you'll play in the sand, get a tan, meet the band, and if you're lucky, sell personal items to the locals for ten times what they're worth. Here's what you do. What about Dino? Oh, come on in. This is the Cinderella tour bus, which is done in Cinderella purple. And this is just a basic bus, like a Greyhound. And, well, actually, you got different things. You got a guy named Tom here, the singer. Who are you bringing on the bus now? Oh, I'm bringing on the MTV viewers for this uh, Headbangers oh, really? ball. And here's Jeff making popcorn back here, you know. It's, that's all we eat. Microwave. Watching the microwave, because the TV in back of here doesn't work. We've got a stereo, and we got all kinds of stupid lights. And come on, I'll show you the rest of this. A nice garbage can back here. Now, this is for when we're very bored. We're, we pretend we're actors, don't we? seen Fred hitting Tom in the sixth video, take one, or Tom hitting Fred, it doesn't matter, wait, take two on that, but anyway, <laughs> so here's the wonderful popcorn TV, it yeah. uh, provides uh, days and months of uh, fun, family, wholesome entertainment, and uh, here's what we call a bathroom, excuse me, Jeff, can we get by, thanks, I got two million people here coming through the bus, uh, here's a bathroom, this is what we call the hellish bathroom, um, pretty much smells that way and and we we don't want we don't want to see, no we don't want to see that anymore. okay come on back here this smell of vision this is the bunk area um this is what they're gearing us up for on death because these things are pretty much like coffins there's 12 of them in this bus and uh, here's a basic view of one of them it's pretty bogus it's um it's it's not the best place in the world to uh sleep but Sometimes when you got long drives and you really don't want to watch that popcorn TV, you have to do it. And this is the back lounge, which <laughs> most of you probably heard about the back lounge and a lot of you girls out there. But anyway, I, I didn't mean that. Um, you know, we got the basic stereo again back here, TV. Uh, this is a cooler or something. It's really actually kind of boring, but it's home for me. I, so what do we got? Oh, look, we got Guns N' Roses. You know, I played with Guns N' Roses for a little while, and Steven broke his hand, and it was a lot of fun. These guys are these guys are really great. Six million albums, they're the happening band of the year, of the century or something. Let's see what's playing over here. Welcome to the jungle, baby! And here we are at the Forum in L.A., just a few hours before our show with ACDC. ACDC's right in the middle of a sound check right now, so it might be a little bit noisy, but uh, what the heck, right? All right, here's Bon Jovi with Bad Madison. Hey, Tower two of the Headbangers Ball. Coming up, the Beast, Judas Priest, ACDC, and Sam Kinison. Who? Sam Kinison. Who? Oh, oh, oh! A long cold winter with us. Right now, here's Winger with Madeline. <laughs> ah! Listen. You hear it, don't you? Mm -hmm. He hears it. Do you hear it? 1959 Sunburst Les Paul. Definitely the top of the heap. <laughs> Definitely. This is Bob. Hi, everybody. Take it away. How you doing? Let's see what else we got here. The Guitars of Cinderella. 1959 Black Beauty. Peter Frampton kind of guitar. Hey, Bob, nice screw, huh? What's that? Get that out. 
Look, look, see that. <laughs> Still using the hand. Hey, keep it down back there. Uh, we're on TV here. This here, the greatest rock and roll guitar of all time. The Dan Armstrong clear bodied, loose sight guitar. Ampeg. Get a good look at this. There's not too many of these left. Rock and roll. Yeah. The double neck. 12 and 6 SG double neck. Serious axe. Serious axe. Standing all. Standing all. And now this guitar here, the 51 Black Pickguard Telecaster, another rock and roll, flies through the air. This has taken a beating on the road. Throw it through the air, hits the ground, no problem, comes back, it laughs, it's still in tune. Play baseball with it. And this, finally. be plastered out the mango. No way, oh, that fat dude, Pavaretti. I beg to differ, Steven Tyler. Get out of here. <laughs> no, <laughs> greatest vocalist, indeed the greatest quasi-religious figure of the 20th century, can only be Don Ho. That's right. Ben will escape a long, cold winter, see Cinderella in concert, meet the band, and if you're lucky, sell personal items to the locals for 10 times what they're worth. Here's what you do. But so what about Don Ho? Making it look mean. <laughs> well, it's the last hour of the Headbangers Ball here. Coming up. <laughs> Coming up this hour, we got Aerosmith, Iron Maiden, a long, cold winter with us. Now, guess what? You gotta see us. Here's don't know what you got till it's gone.